Cotrimoxazole. It's one of the cheapest medicines in a doctor's armory. It's already been used extensively to prevent children with HIV falling ill before they start on more expensive, lifelong treatment against the virus, known as antiretroviral therapy, or ART. New research now shows even wider benefits. It suggests all HIV-positive children should continue taking the drug, even when they are also taking ARVs. Almost all children with HIV catch the virus at birth from the mothers. HIV then destroys their immune system, opening the doors to a wide range of opportunistic infections. This can happen very quickly, killing them before ARVs can take effect. It has been known for some time that giving HIV-positive children a daily dose of cotrimoxazole, which is a cheap and widely available antibiotic, can save many lives by holding the opportunistic infections in check. In fact, a clinical trial done a decade ago showed that it could reduce the death rate by a dramatic 43%. A study was done before ART was started in Zambia and it showed that septrin or cotrimoxazole was very useful in reducing uh, deaths and also reducing sicknesses and hospitalizations among children who had not yet started the antiretroviral therapy. So, HIV-positive children around the world have been given the medicine both before and during the initiation of ART, when they are at highest risk of illness. But how long should they take cotrimoxazole? When they are once again healthy and stable on ART, what should happen? Should they stop taking it? Some assume that as their immune cells, known as CD4 cells, recover and increase, then children can stop cotrimoxazole prophylaxis. But now a major new study called the ARROW trial has shown that actually they are better to keep going. What we found is that at the end of the trial when the unblinding was done, we found that the children who continue to receive uh, cotrimoxazole were less likely to be hospitalized, they were less likely to get infections. Uh, so in a way, um, what that showed was that cotrimoxazole was very beneficial, even when children were already stable on antitobiotic therapy. The ARO trial is a randomized clinical trial, which followed more than 1,200 children in Zimbabwe and Uganda over five years. It showed that even children on ARVs whose CD4 count had returned to normal levels benefit from regular cotrimoxazole. Children build up their immunity as they grow and cotrimoxazole is great for uh, making sure that uh, they remain healthy while they are building up uh, their immunity and also uh, benefiting from uh, antiretroviral therapy. Children's immune systems indeed build up over many years. Helped by vaccinations, they develop different types of immune cells to tackle different illnesses. So it is not only the quantity of immune cells which is important, but also the quality and diversity. Children whose immune systems have been attacked by HIV may miss out on this development. Which is why researchers believe cotrimoxazole continues to offer important protection. Sometimes the CD4s, the counts may be adequate, but the function uh, sometimes is not fully as desired because uh, there are effects that were created in the course of the HIV infection. So what that means is that the septrin is still necessary to give that cover even in the presence of antitoviral therapy. But what about the cost of keeping so many children on daily medicines? In fact, this study showed it will save money because children taking cotrimoxazole 
are much less likely to end up needing expensive hospital treatment. The fact here is that the costs of cotrimoxazole are so low, um, estimated to be less than $10, $10 per, per patient year. Um, that really, it's, it's a no-brainer, it's a win-win. It's a Cotrimoxazole offers a health gain um, and actually when the costs of um, hospitalisations, um, reduced hospitalisations and reduced prescriptions of other medications um, are offset against the cost of Cotrimoxazole, we're in a win-win situation. Cotrimoxazole is, offers a health gain um, and is cost-saving. The researchers are now recommending that all HIV-positive children continue on cotrimoxazole alongside antiretroviral therapy. In fact, some countries already are doing this. The ARO trial showed that children do very well on the combined treatment and, as long as they take their medicines, can grow up to live healthy lives. Oh,